Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Underrail. In the last episode, we did some more exploring. We killed a few people, took their stuff. We began exploring some more of the cave system, defeated a bunch of um, psychic bugs, a big, large group of them. What was it? Three little bugs and a, and a goliath? Holy crap, good for us. We're uh, almost up another level to level 15, and we're going back out there to do some more exploring. We're running low on food, but we should have enough for this episode at least. Okay, so the question is, where does Garrett go now? Not sure. I'm not actually sure whatsoever where Garrett decides to go now. I'm thinking maybe... Well, I guess we can't go wrong more by exploring more of the Underrail. We got, we've we discovered quite a few Ironhead points of interest. Maybe we should begin by visiting their bases and seeing what mayhem we might be able to cause to them. We also have an area to the south of Southgate Station that we haven't explored, which I mentioned we would do later because of the high-level creatures that would be there. So we could start there. We do kind of need to go back to Southgate Station anyway. Well, we don't have to, but let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go back to Southgate Station to start. That's 40, 25 Charons to make that trip every single time. Remember that. So, it will add up over time if you just take the train to jump around and sell things. You better be making a, a lot of profit. You better be taking almost all the Charons from the, from the merchants. Okay, so, uh, oh well, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. You better make sure you can make a good amount of money during your trips, if, assuming you're just going around selling stuff, because it adds up very quickly. 100 Charons? Well, a merchant will have maybe 300 to 400 on them. So, keep that in mind. Garrett. Hello, sir. Hello. Let me give you the proper Garrett handshake. I'm checking your pockets for stuff. Some bullets and a health hypo. I feel a little guilty taking his money at the moment. He can keep these. They're guarding the base. If we secure the base, I won't feel bad about it. And so much that... Oh, sorry. If we secure the area around here, I won't feel bad about it. A sniffly. Still sniffly. That barrel. Well, it looks like we have two areas we can explore, huh? Let's try going this way to start. Okay. Rat hounds and a locker. Some extremely low level cloth. Extremely low level cloth? Some extremely low level cloth. There's a way. Oh God, Rat Hound! What the heck? Is there an alpha here? There's an alpha here. Okay. Slightest danger to us. Okay, let's begin shooting. We missed. Missed twice. Two eighty-two percent shots missed. Well, I'd rather have them miss on something like this. That's not that important. Now we move away from the others. Excellent. The right hand alpha didn't get a chance to attack. The little one did, but the alpha is more important for us to kill. Garrett, well done. And the alpha? This has an adrenal gland. I guess we can take the remains and stick it in the locker. Of course, I come back here along with the other crap. Locker of crap. We stealth and let's keep exploring. See what else is, might be in this area. Oh, looks like we might have been able to circumvent the rat hounds by going around them. Nothing there. Ah, uh, this is suspicious to me. That still is suspicious to me. I don't see any stealthers. Single coin. 
and a flare. We're out of flares, so that will come in useful at least. I keep forgetting to buy and purchase more. Okay, well, that's nothing really here but a way down. Not, I don't remember where this way leads. Let's uh, let's take a peek at it. A mine shroom. We could probably be careful of. Oh, side be uh, let's say side beetles, but I see pigs walking around over there. Lots of cave ears and more dead bodies as well. Pigs, lots of pigs, huh? If we can avoid the pigs, I'd like to do so. But killing them. Not really worth it any longer for us. I think there was a... Oh, God! Oh, there's a dead man up there, though, along with several with some more stuff. So, yes, we will kill these pigs. A 95% backstab attempt. That warhog's not gonna be happy with us. Oh, he didn't even see us. He did not see us. Perfect. Okay. I think we'll set a trap or two here. And then th shoot a, a pig just like this one. But I want two traps in the way. Because if a pig walks on a trap, it might kill it immediately. If a warthog falls on a trap, that's what I want stunned. Or, you know, rooted in place. You will just wait here. So we see. We could throw a grenade to get their attention. This is even better. The warthog itself. Let's try shooting it. Hits. Perfect. Move away a little bit. Charge does hit a trap, though. Its pig friends cannot reach it. This is a perfect spot for a grenade, but then we have a trap in the way ready to help us. We will just sit here and just shoot it. Switching to our knife. Getting a little bit of distance. That one pig will die. We'll just wait for it to die. It should die naturally. It's the trap. Oh, it can reach us with a charge. But it missed. Good work, Garrett. Plus, that's use of more traps. And nothing else here. Some rubble. A dead person. Who has a troglobite fossil. And a dead man. What was he carrying? Burr or Calatross, we'll take those. A low-level but very expensive-looking Hurricane Crossbow, we'll take that. Another Flare and 15 bucks. We'll take the Amptals as well, I suppose, this time around. Nice, good work, Garrett. Not bad. A decent amount of loot. Oh, right, we're also at Southgate Station. We should stop by and inform the, whatchamacallit, about the, um, the loss of the Bakers. At least one Baker uh, is dead. I don't have to fight a, a boar. I should try to avoid it. This one looks like it might be actually on an act, on a patrol route. Yeah, that one's probably actually patrolling. Which is to say, it's walking back and forth between two designated points or more on, on the map. area I have not been unless I'm stealthed. Oh, we've been here before apparently. We didn't explore this area. Guess we'll explore it now. Oh god, Psy Beetles. At least one of them. I imagine more than one. to destroy it.
let's try. I hope there is another one here. Ah, oh, that was a piece of cake. Well done, Garrett. And we'll naturally regenerate that life because we did not take too much of it. Locked. 35. No problem. We have plenty of lockpicks for this. A battery, a jackrabbit frame, which very low quality though. And another encyclopedia fragment. And their remains can stay. I don't think I'm that interested in that. We have more passageways though, leading from this. What was down on this side? Probably nothing, but we'll check this to make sure. Nothing. Okay, not bad. A little bit, of a, little bit more experience points. Another area mapped. Sorry, when I keep muting my microphone occasionally to sniff. Oh, wow. Well, that's not promising. This guy got torn to bits and killed trying to get underneath, uh, trying to get back into his house, I guess. Let's have a cave hopper steak, which we'll take. We'll also take the garbage knife for reasons that will become known later on when we level. Nice try. You didn't really scare me that much. Let's cut this up. Get some distance from the other one. Oh, there's two more left. Jesus, Garrett. Very nicely done. There's two others somewhere around here as well. Oh, Rathounds had this person surrounded all outside, of, all outside their home. <laughs> Looks like they should have hired a Garrett defense system. Oh, hello. How are you? Not doing so well, I see. There's at least one more of them out here. Two more. Rathounds, I didn't even have to stealth myself. We can just slaughter them. Okay. Looks like some large structure. Probably a ramshackle house that was constructed. And unfortunately, Rathounds somehow killed everyone. I guess on the inside? What oh! Maybe they crawled in under this and killed everyone inside as well. That totally could have happened. How's our dagger? That could use our single repair. Oh! I'm out of repair kits! Okay. After this, we gotta go back up to Southgate Station then. Single Alpha, the only dangerous thing here so far. Oh, this was a pretty petty. We'll take that. Let's well grab a single lock pick. Box and a, oh, hello, combat. A locked box, we're not opening that. Dead woman. Looks like they must have tried to fight the rat hounds and lost, but I only see one dead rat hound. Maybe they got ambushed. Ah, 
Oh, that sucks. He must have gotten killed. They must have opened the door, tried to rush out to save him, and that was it for them. They all got, they all just got slaughtered. Some decent quality stuff, but all low level. That's a shame. It looks like the only other exit is to these caves here. Let's just get this on the map that this is connected, but then we're not we don't need to go up through this area and fight pigs. Okay, yeah, let's head back up to Southgate Station then. Actually, there are a few other areas we haven't explored down here. We are right here. Oh, but there's crawlers, at least in this section. I'd like to avoid them at the moment if I can. We'll come back down here and explore those areas out fully later. I don't... It might be another... Maybe they sent a scout or something like that out to those caves. But they're likely to have similarly leveled gear with them, which is to say something that probably isn't worth the headache of fighting so many crawlers would be. But crawlers are still worth 500-something experience points as well, so that could level us quickly if we do end up fighting a great many of them. So, nothing down this way that was that dangerous. If we had come here first, after the cave-in had happened. So what's down the other path that we've left up here? Let's take a peek. Seven minutes left on our burger. How's our trap situation looking? Plenty of traps. And two more dynamites. That. That is an Ironhead Smasher. He's going to be tricky to kill. The Ironheads are moving very close to Southgate Station. Oh god, he's got a really short patrol route also. That Grenadier has to die. First, he may have MK3 grenades, and we won't survive a good solid blast from one of those. Dead, perfect. Let's throw a net at this guy. Move up. Use a shield. His friend is in prison for two more turns. Let's use adrenaline. I definitely want to make sure this guy dies. Above it, throw a grenade at this one. Hey, look at that! Awesome work, Garrett. Iron Head's defeated. Just like clockwork, everyone dies in the same round. How awesome is that? That's pretty freaking amazing. We don't need you after all. Oh, we have three flares now. Very nice. Okay, let's see what uh, what these poor saps are carrying. Also, we should recharge our battery. Another battery. Some more bullets. Caltrops. We'll learn how to make caltrops. Why not?
What did he have on him? Uh, the pistol's not worth much. We can take the helmet. We're right here near Southgate Station, so we might as well grab everything off these off these bodies. We can bring it right back and sell it at, sell it there. MK2 grenades on this guy. Hacksaw. We can stop by Urza's and sell that as well. Let's take the bullets out of the weapons. We get no extra money for them. Sorry for selling guns that are that have bullets in them. What did you have, sir? A mallet that I'm not really interested in. That weighs too much. You have morphine, though. Very nice. Thank you, sir. We needed some of that. Let's see if there's anything back here really quick. No. Looks like there's nothing. We should check this little corner anyway, just to be sure. And now those Ironheads are defeated. So this must have been a lower-level group of Ironheads, I suppose. If, they had go if the Grand Deer only had MK2 grenades... They were probably lower level. Oh, we didn't quite explore everything. There's something right here, too. Two shelves. Okay. Well, that's everything south of Southgate Station. And since we did such a good job, we will reward ourselves by helping us, helping ourselves to what's ever in these people's pockets. After all, we no longer need them. We defeated everything south of Southgate Station. Good work, Garrett. Good work. Look at you. You're, you've come so far. You've died so few times, actually. I'm very surprised. Very surprised, actually. <laughs> Especially that one room. Those, like, three death crawlers and uh, two normal crawlers. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Where are we going first, Tim? Let's head to the pens to start. We need more nets. We need at least one more net. And we'll keep this selling on screen. Why not? You guys get to see what I do in the off-screen sometimes. Hello, Quentin. Ready to trade? You want three raw leathers and two chemicals. So we can do that. And this. And we need patching kits. We'll take that and a dollar. Uh, let's take some organs. All others still looking for three organs. So we can sell you the heart to adrenal glands for 15 credits. We'll take our cave ears and sell them to Big Brett. Then drop the rest back off in that barrel. Hello, Mr. Brett. You're pretty big. Four plants or fungus. Four. And can we get a single net for these? No. I'm gonna pay five bucks. That net will go with our other net. So while we're here in the pens, we should probably also see Quentin. Don't you sell molotovs? You do. We also should look at some more. Um, blueprints that you might be interested in. I will be interested in an incendiary bolt later on. Hmm. You could also probably use more incendiary bolts just naturally. Let's take three more incendiary bolts. And we'll grab a full stack of Molotovs as well. That's expensive. Two two uh, well, let's do it. Thank you, Quinton. Oops. Sorry, you don't like being disturbed. Let's go ahead and head up to the Cyber Labs next. I don't think we have anything that Harold here will want, but we'll stop by really quick and check. Uh, nothing. He doesn't want anything, but we need mechanical repair kits. 
probably want like four of them. 40 for that. That was already 500 bucks. That's a fourth of the Southgate Station credits we've saved up so far. Urza? What will you buy? You'll buy the old Haxor that we just picked up. We don't need that. And you... Do you have a better shield? Your own shields are low level. I don't think we need anything from him then. We could buy more shock bolts. We're down to three. 98 bucks? Let's trade. Oh, almost forgot. He might not be so suspicious anymore. If he's not, we should totally pick his pocket. He still is super suspicious. He is very suspicious of us. Okay then, Urza. Guess some people hold a grudge. <laughs> Alright, where are we going next? Let's go to medical. Sell some of our normal health hypos for more credits. In the past, I used to sell morphine until I realized how you're actually supposed to use it. You use it before you take any hits, not after you take the hits. Pascal, let's see. Five medicines. Uh, yeah, we got five medicines. We can trade you five of these. Can we get a normal advance for five? We can. We'll take it. <clears throat> Sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes, they'll be selling some chemicals that are very rare for you to see. We've seen basically all the chemicals that, uh, all the drugs that there are in the game. However, oh, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. That was a really wrong statement to say. We've seen all the drugs that we're likely to find on merchants, but there are quite a few other drugs in the game. I know of one called Iron Gut that I think makes you immune to being stunned for, uh, I think, two or three turns, if I recall correctly. Very, very useful drugs if you take biology as a crafting skill. Okay, let's go to the arm. Oh, the cantina next, I suppose. That was a misclick, but we'll visit. We'll go here. Jonas is here, and we'll want to talk to him really quick. Because he has charons, and we want as many charons as possible. Hey, Jonas. Free traps? I don't think we have any traps I want to sell him. I do not. Oh, we could actually sell... We're not really using the MK2 mines. But they'll come in useful if we ever fight drones. Nah, we'll be fine. He is buying four batteries. We have a few extra batteries we can sell them. We don't need this many. And I want Charons. How many Charons can I get if I give you, like, maybe 32 more credits? Oh, I didn't say yes to that. It's going to be about 20. Ten, ten. Darn it! It was 20. It was 20. I don't know how I knew that, but I totally did. Yep. I don't, I don't understand. We'll take it. Thank you, sir. He's one of the few people that will accept Southgate Station credits for Charons. So, Southgate Station credits, as you can see, are beginning to fall off our important list. Mostly because... Most of the merchants of the game don't accept Southgate Station credits. They're also far easier to get. You can get a hit, we can get a fistful of them for uh, selling a pistol or two to Lucas. Speaking of which, we should totally do this. Oh, he's buying a crossbow for, uh, from us today. Two crossbows, actually. So we don't need this one. Ah, but if we pair it, we can trade for even more than just that. Okay. So let's go ahead and repair that crossbow. Way. Then we can use this on our dagger. Lucas. So, let's trade him the crossbow. That's now all the money, and we're still in good condition. Like, we, he'll still buy even more from us. So, what do we want? He's not selling any better balaclavas. 
These goggles are not better. We don't really need grenades at the moment. We could probably maybe use another flashbang. They're hard to find. Uh, is he selling mechanical repair kits? He is. We used four of them. Can we get four back? Yes, we can. And we're still a little uh, on the our side. Let's take even more of these. We'll take four more. If I auto that now, let's do this trade. Now we can repair some of our other pistols. Ah, that one wasn't worth it. Might break even from that, that what we just did. Oof, okay, so this stuff's all lower levels, so maybe we shouldn't bother repairing it. Repair one more item and try to sell that as well. Okay, that one, that one was worth repairing. Lucas, let's trade some more. So, you'll buy two pistols and a tactical vest. Interesting, we can get quite a bit from him right now. That's going to be all his credits just with that. So then while we're here, we should pick up other things that I might be interested in. Let's pick up some hexogen. Uh, this is all low-level crap. The boots will not be good for me because that will bring my armor penalty above high. And we really like the tabby boots. We don't need more TNT. Uh, I guess we could take more mine, more grenade cases. I wouldn't mind having frag cases. What blueprint is he selling? Tactical vest. We can probably take that. Sniper rifle, SMG, pistol, mine. We already know the mine. A hand grenade. We'll take a hand grenade. Well, it's about Kava assault rifle. And we'll sell him the helmet and one of these pistols. Now we're over. Okay. We've taken all the cash from him. Ah, okay. Let's auto this. Is there anything else I want from him? We could take the cave ear poison couch. Those won't be very helpful to us, though. We could take an acid bolt. Let's actually resell this helmet. Sniper rifle. We can sell another pistol. We'll do this. We'll take a sniper rifle plan, a hand grenade, a tactical vest. We'll, we'll sell him all this stuff. We get a little bit of money and some more components. Done. Why am I learning Tactical Vest when I don't plan to ever make... Uh, oh, th wait, this doesn't... I hope that doesn't require tailoring. That might require... I hope that requires a mechanical, but it might require tailoring instead. Hand grenade and sniper rifle. Those items will probably be able to craft with mechanical and electronics, which will make some high... very high worth pieces of gear for us. Uh, to sell, in particular. Because we can leave you and you here. He is buying another vest. Let's sell him this worthless one. I say worthless, but I mean, he'll buy it for a little bit of cash. Hello, Lucas. Oh, no, he won't. He's not interested in this. It's not a tactical vest. It's an armor suit, I suppose, instead. Okay, is that what it says above it? Armor suit, yes. That's what it says above it, Tim. And this is also an armor suit. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff then. Armor suit. Okay. That's all the selling we'll be doing, I suppose. We still want to visit our private quarters, and we want to turn in the one quest that we found the bakers. Or a baker, at least. It looked like creatures killed them, from what I can tell. Um, this is the wrong place. We went back to the cantina. It's administration, Tim. Come on, hasn't been that long since you've been here. Yes? How can I help you, Garrett? Did this belong to the Bakers? Very expensive the card. Yes, it is, but... Why are you giving this to me? Where did you find this? What happened? 
I found it on a man's corpse in a deserted camp, located in the caves north of the rail crossing train station. I'm afraid that corpse was Terry's. Laura was nowhere to be seen. This is bad. The Biggers were wonderful people, and... Have you learned anything else about what happened to them? Any clues? Anything at all? Sadly, that is all I know. She nods several times. Laura's body wasn't there, you say? What if she's alive? Perhaps, but highly unlikely. Those caves harbor some deadly critters. Yes, yes, I... I see your point. Well, thank you, Garrett. I will take the keycard and speak to the rest of the Council about this. I will leave you then. Goodbye, Vera. Uh, bad news always sucks. But we didn't find her body. So maybe she got away. Maybe something didn't find her. Maybe. Next. We're gonna stop the illegal. As I sniff a lot. We're gonna go here and drop the light. Yeah! Then we're gonna walk down here and investigate this door. Locked! It requires a code to unlock it, too. Darn it! We don't have any hacking. Alright, so much for that. Alright, nothing, nothing, new, nothing to see here. There was absolutely nothing wrong. Did we try pickpocketing Vera? Did we try pickpocketing Vera? <laughs> I don't know if we did. I'm sure she won't mind. Hello, Vera. How are you doing? I know you're, you're. I know it's really tough losing the bakers. They were good people, but you know what would make it feel what make you feel better? Not carrying around these forty credits or these sixty-three sticking coins. Your donation to their um, to their, their the continued search for Laura will continue. Thank you for funding it. Your cut. Your donation is greatly appreciated. To the private quarters. As I sniff, sniffle, sniff. Okay. Hello, privates. That was... That sounded better than they had to say. Let's turn on the lights. And ammo can be put away. We have no extra guns. Uh, we do have this dagger that should be stored. And how about our other supplies? Don't want any of that crap. What else do we have? I kind of want the rest of this stuff. How's this thing looking? This thing is fine. Probably should go to Rail Station next and look for more tabby boots there if we're lucky. What else am I carrying that I want to leave behind? Anything? Tim? We've got a handful of singular bolts that I'm probably not going to use very often. We can leave those behind. Our acid bolts... This bolt. I think these bolts are actually really useful. I, I like holding on to them. Uh, we can leave the caltrops behind at the moment as well. Okay. Oh, drugs. We should probably leave behind some drugs. I don't think we'll need this many of these. Let's leave five of these behind us. We have an EMP mine of K2 in here. Where did we get that from? Okay, that's good. All right, let's head on out. Time to continue our exploration. I'm thinking since we still have dynamite, we should probably look to use the dynamite in locations where it would be useful. So that would be where we found the stealthers. Oh, essay. Essay. Did we pick your pockets? I don't know if we did pick your pockets yet. We did not. That's worth a lot of money. That's 7,000 for that cat tactical. Thank you, essay. And your credits are also well worth it. I appreciate it. Thank you. The taxes have been paid. You are good for the year. Please make sure you save more for next year. 
very important that the Garrett Mint wants their wants their fair share of everything. If you didn't want us to take it, you wouldn't have it in your inventory. There, it's your fault. Yep, totally going with that. All right, let's uh, let's head out. I'm recording this, right? Please tell me I'm recording. Yes, and I'm not muted. All right, good. All right, let's continue going. I think I mentioned I haven't had a recording problem when it comes to uh, me being muted accidentally or forgetting I'm recording in uh, quite some time. It's been like a, like two years almost now, I think. That's really what the heck? It's like I'm becoming professional at this stuff. As I sniff really disgustingly on ca on a microphone. Okay, where are we going? This way. Things are gonna get serious down here because we're in lurker territory. Okay. Dynamite. Oh, dynamite's still on my bar. Okay, then. come to investigate that. Hello, Gunner. You arrived, sir, at the wrong time. Only one bleeding is you. That's a shame. Good thing we waited a little more patiently. Good on you investigating, which is probably your job to see what make sure no one came through this area. We will take your marauder. Armor's garbage. Festus, though, is worth a, a little bit at least. I say, Garrett, you're becoming really efficient at this. To make sure it see if anyone ever leaves Southgate Station taking this path. There are two gates here. He was guarding this side, though. Let's mark this DNA really quick. And then we'll see what he was guarding. Actually, it looks like this probably leads into this side, maybe? Could be another one stealthed over there. Oh, crap. Food. We have to eat food, Tim. Forget that. Just want to get that on the map. We can go back to that a little later. Ah, another passage. Okay. What was back here then?
Oh god, security camera. Another security camera. Uh, it didn't turn red, and it totally saw us. Oh! Never mind. It did not see us before. We should destroy it. That means the other one's probably active too. We should try to destroy all the security cameras that we see. It'll make you sneaking about this place easier. Once our stealth is up, I guess we'll go south. Let's see. We also want. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave DNA on this. Let's see where this takes us. Maybe to the snow. This will be a different, separate area. Well, let's 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 investigate. Oh, that's really dark. No cameras. No one gets to see what we're doing down here. Two lurkers. At least two. Three. Three lurkers. I want this one dead right now. I'm not allowed to target him for some reason, so we'll throw the grenade. A murderer. Let's stun him. Others are they're, they're running back. A psionic. Interesting. We'll take some morphine. Oh, there's probably more than just one of them here, aren't there? Morphine. A gunslinger and another murderer. He's wearing a thermic coat, so that's going to be useless. The murderer should not be able to reach me. Let's pause. Sorry, let's pass our rest of our turn. Oh, there's another coming. Too far away, and we're in the dark. Too far away, and in the dark. That would be a good spot for a grenade. We have to walk up a step. Let's throw one. That is a huge amount of them, Tim. Run.
Can I kill this guy before he reaches me? Maybe. But not if I shoot him. Not a good chance to hit him. Our net is on cooldown. Grenade is ready again. We will totally throw one right here. That's not a good chance to hit. At all. We'll throw the net. Got her. Set her on fire. Move away. Hello, gunner. Round the corner by using movement, so we can take a free shot at one of them. Ooh, we have the best chance of hitting. Our grenade is back up again. We are not going to be able to kill all of these. No way. No way. There's too many. There is way, way too many. The sniper has a shield. He's not even hurt. This gunner is badly injured. Could use... We can't use morphine either. We're all out of morphine. I'm oh, sorry. It's on cooldown. Let's try to kill as many as we can. Shield activated. Adrenaline used. That trapper. Let's... Move here. We evaded her dagger. Uh, her net, sorry. Others are moving, but they're all sort of in weird orders. That's fine. We have a better chance of actually stabbing the trapper. Let's actually root the sniper. He evaded. Okay, well then we have to go after the trapper. Oh god! Oh, I didn't want to do that! I didn't. I want to do the whole fight there. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, that's really a shame. That's really a shame. Okay. Darn it. I want to do the whole battle there. Well, it's too late. We, we now left. We'll wait till we're unfatigued. We'll take a look at our, our equipment, and we'll get ready to go walk back in. So let's first use our repair kits. I think we could have probably done that battle, too. We got all of them right there. It's pointless to stealth. The battle will start the moment we walk back in there again. I think we will equip Sting this time, though. We also leveled. No reason why we can't immediately level. Level 15. So, this is going to be five points in all of our abilities. This will help us with the fight as well. I think we'll put five points in mechanics. We'll do this. I know we don't benefit from traps at all by just putting two points in it at the moment. But I, this is what I have slowly planned for us. Next level, no points will go in mechanics. We'll just be leveling traps and dodge to 65 each. And they might remain there for the rest of the game. I might increase them to 70 later on. Okay. Let's try this again. Battle immediately starts where we left off. We get to go first. Okay, we throw that net again. 
got him. You run to the side. Keeping out of the other gunners. Oof! Oh, we're almost dead! Holy crap! That went right through our shield and almost slaughtered us! Jesus! Let's heal ourselves! Uh, and then we walk up here and kill this guy. He is incapacitated. I could not attack this turn. Let's walk back and pick up this throwing net. Move a little bit more away, so this way we're not seen by his friend. Dead. Let's use the morphine. Move back a bit. Killed his friend by accident. How about that? Victory. Well done, Garrett. Morphe was used, Tim. Don't want to take any damage there. Okay. Well done. A shame, everyone. I apologize. I want to do that whole battle without having to, f having to flee. I think we definitely would have won. I think we would have won. We, ha we didn't take any damage yet from them. So, I'm pretty sure victory would have been ours. Good job, Sting. Thank you very much. We will want to repair you now. And we shall recharge you as well. Okay. And it's probably, we've probably been playing for long enough. We should probably stop. But we'll search the bodies really quick. Some okay armor, low lowish level. The blob trap though is nice. We don't need that frag mine. MK2 bolts. Look at all the amazing bolts on this person. Three more nets. Uh, crossbow's worth quite a bit actually, but worth a lot more when we repair it. And she has a belt. We'll take that and the frag case. Looks like we're walking right back to Southgate Station to store some stuff probably after this is done. I want that throwing net. They were really useful for this battle as they always are. Back up to five of these. Let's see what else they had. Actually, we should probably loot everything off the corpse. Just with these spawns. Yeah. A okay assault rifle. Let's take everything. Oh, wow! Electric, advanced electric repair kit. That repair 500 points to an electric item. Another assault rifle. More garbage armor. A flashbang, though. That'll be useful. A very expensive sniper rifle. A shield. Low level. Still worth it. Some decent armor, actually. We'll take a look at that. We'll compare all the armors in a bit. Let's just keep going. Grenade, a pistol, some boots. Decent armor. We're overburdened. Oh, wow. We are overburdened by three pounds. Okay. Let's go to the junk pile. And we'll be leaving junk in it. Let's think here. So what's garbage? This armor, decent amount of stealth. Cuts 2 plus 1 is nice, but lo much lower level. Look at that. 510 durability. No thank you. 510. No thank you. 510. No thank you. This armor is high level. 1590. It is not quite as high level as our current armor. Mechanical is the same, offers cold resistance, increases stealth by 31. Better for stealth, no electricity bonus though. However, this is important. It's only 10% armor penalty. That means we could wear boots like this, for example, instead of our tabby boots. It's, it's something to consider at least. We will hold on to that armor. These boots though, I'll... I guess they're boots. We should probably hold on to them. We'll keep the rest of this stuff. What else does this person have? We have the corpse over here. Another assault rifle. Low-level armor. Let's take all this. We'll store that armor in the junk pile. We will not be able to loot all these bodies. They should not vanish, though. We can come back here. I can't believe how much loot was on with, is on these people. Oh right, I forgot. The bullets also will take up weight. 
Okay, we should go leave and come back. So... We should even come back. Let's save the game. But we are out of time, everyone. We've been playing for just about an hour. So what I'm going to do off screen is I'm going to go back to Rail Station with all this loot. And we'll try to see if the Tabby Boots person has better Tabby Boots. Sell whatever I can there. And then we'll double back to Core City and sell other things there. It's been like two hours since we were last at Core City. So they should have recycled their stuff. We can then come back here, and actually I'll pick back up here when I come back, and show you any shopping I've done, what it resulted in, and then we'll do the rest of these bodies, and then we'll continue exploring this area. So, everyone, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching this one, and take care, everyone. And we gained a fourth of a level from that. Amazing!